Yo, 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 what's up, my CG gang? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be making some loaded cheeseburger and bacon fries. You heard me. So, enough of the talking. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, for this video, you're going to need some your favorite kind of cheese. I got cheddar jack cheese. You know, that good old bacon. Your ground beef, 80% um, lean, 20% fat. And potatoes. Oh, we cut up some potatoes and I left one out just to show y'all how to cut it. Okay, start off cutting cutting a potato. You all cut and off. So you can lay it flat down just like that. This for safety purposes. And then you should get one, two, three, about four or five pieces of this potato for your french fries. So go ahead. That's one, two, three. And get one more. Five. Just like that. Push this to the side. Now after that, show y'all real quick. That's how y'all get your french fries. Cut it just like this. Now you can peel your potatoes if you want. I didn't peel mines, I like to peel mines. And boom, there you go. You got a fry. And if it's still a little bit too thick for you, just go ahead and cut it like that, bro. I'm at them. Just like that. And boom, you got yourself french fries. So that's how you cut it. Let's get to the next step. Okay, guys, after you cut your fries and put them in a bowl, you're going to submerge them in some ice cold water. And then you're going to sit in the cold water for about 30 minutes. So you're going to make sure that this, doing this, going to make sure you get some nice, crispy fries. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, I got my, got me a nice pan. You don't place your bacon in your pan. Now, if you've been here on my channel, you know I know how to make the perfect bacon. But for these loaded um, cheeseburger bacon fries, you want to make sure that you cook this bacon perfect. We're not going to cook it too long so it get hard and crispy. We're going to make this bacon nice and chewy. Chewy because once it's done, we're going to put it on top of the fries and all that cheese and the burger and stuff. You don't want it to be too crispy and look burnt. So, I'm about to show y'all exactly how we're going to get the perfect bacon for the loaded cheeseburger bacon fries. Every two minutes, every two minutes or so, it's going to keep flipping it, flipping it, flipping it until it's done. It's going to be a nice, chewy, delicious bacon. But if you want, if you do want to make it crispy, you can make it a little bit, not all the way. Because like I said, this bacon is going to go on top of the fries. And into the oven. Bacon still cooking now. That's how I'm looking so far. After you're done cooking this bacon, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna use the same pan for your hamburger meat. For your loaded bacon cheese other fries. Smell amazing. I love bacon. Like, hey, yo, I like all kind of bacon. Beef bacon, turkey bacon, and this. Tastes amazing. Now, as y'all can see, like I said, flip every two minutes. This bacon is coming out perfect. So, I'm going to finish cooking this and the rest of the bacon. And then when I'm done, I'll be back and we're going to cook and season this ground beef. Okay, guys, I'm back. The bacon is done. Now, let's go ahead and drop this ground beef into this pan. You get rid of a little bit of the bacon grease, but keep some for, for some more extra flavor. 
fully loaded bacon cheeseburger fries. Go ahead. Um, slap. Oops, my bad. Put to the side. It happens. <laughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and just round up this beef. I know it looks like only a little bit in the pot, but once you start working this meat down, it's going to be a lot covering these fish fries. And I use about four potatoes for the fries, too. So, that's, yeah, four potatoes from the fish fries I cut up. I cut three beforehand, and I want to show y'all how to cut on camera. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all like y'all fries. Y'all like to make homemade fries? How do y'all cook them? Y'all fry them? Y'all throw them in the oven? We, we going to fry ours today. Okay, with a good old canola oil. After this, after you done smashing this hamburger meat up, you gonna go ahead and season the meat after it get brown up some. So I'm gonna let this finish. I'm gonna finish smashing this up, and I'm gonna cook it down some. And make sure to keep your flame on like a medium high, not too low, not too high. And then after it get brown some, I'm gonna show you all the seasonings we're gonna use. For this hamburger meat, for this ground beef. Okay, um, guys, I'm back now that this hamburger beef cooked down, son. Ground beef cooked down, son. I'm gonna add our onion powder to this. Then you're gonna get your um, garlic powder. And then, oops, and then you're going to add a pack of sauce to this. And that's all you need to season this ground beef. You're going to go ahead and just mix all that in. It's going to be real flavorful. You don't want it to be too salty. So it's only three ingredients, onion powder, garlic powder, and one pack of sauce on. And you're going to cook that down to your beef. I'm going to let it cook for like another three minutes because it's still got a few pink pieces in it. You want to make sure your meat is cooked all the way through. And then I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do with these fries next. Okay, guys, the hamburger beef is done. The beef is done. Now we're going to push this to the side and go over to the fries. Okay, guys, now that the fries are done, that's what we're going to do. You're going to pat dry these. I got me a clean tea towel. I got to do the pat dry them just like this. Toss them up. Make sure the ones on the bottom. You gotta pat dry these fries before you drop them and the oil. Just like this. Lost one. So I'm gonna finish pat drying these and then. I'll be back with the next step. Okay, you guys, next step for this fries, for these french fries, you're gonna get yourself some cornstarch. Cornstarch gonna help these fries be nice and crispy when you fry them up. Put some on, toss them around. You wanna make sure you get cornstarch all over the fries. Just like this. This is a really nice technique if you want some extra crispy french fries. And these fries are going to be nice and crispy. Let's toss them up. And then after that, let them sit for about 15 minutes. 
and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. My oil is nice and hot. The fries are ready. Now, you're going to drop them in. Now, toss them in. Nice and slow. You know, cook some a little bit at a time because the oil will cool down with the quickness, and you don't want that. And you don't want to also overcrowd the pan. Make sure all your fries are in that canola oil. And you don't let each batch cook for about, say, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, man, these homemade. So you gotta make sure you can cook all the way through. You're dealing with potatoes. You wanna make sure you cook them perfect. Okay, guys, now look at this. You got your fries. They should look like just like that. Perfect. Now I'm about to toss these in the bowl and put another batch on. And then I'll be back to throw them in the oven. The cheese and the bacon and the um, beef on top. Fully loaded. The bacon, cheese, burger fries. Just like that. They should look something just like that. That's perfect every time. Dutch on right here, and I'll be back. Okay, CG gang, I'm back. Now, I already did one layer. You're gonna put your fries down, then your hamburger down. Then, you're gonna go ahead and add some of this um, cheddar jack cheese. You can put as much cheese as you like. You know how we get down in my house. We love cheese in here. Then you'll know, grab that bacon you cooked earlier and sprinkle some. Sprinkle some just around. You want to make sure you get a bite of every um, a bite of bacon in every bite for the um, bacon cheese burger fries. Then I got the second batch I was in. Whew. Put these on top. Just like that. And you're going to add some more hamburger meat. I should have made this for a Super Bowl. I don't know where my head was at. I had a hard time coming up with dishes for a Super Bowl. I was like, bro. I saw I make the dishes after the Super Bowl was over, but we still got football season. Who watching the XFL? <laughs> I am. Boy, the football is my favorite sport. Love that game. So these will still be game day stacks. Gonna go ahead and add another layer of this cheddar jack cheese. So we're going to make this thing cheesy. Make it a mess. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Make it a mess. That's okay. Happen when you cook. And next, you're going to add the rest of that bacon on top of here. And since this is a bacon cheeseburger fry, you know, you can add onions to this too. It's up to you, whatever other stuff you want to be in here. But I could get the onion. They forgot my onion, actually. So, yeah, I just got the meat. Carnival time. Carnival time. That's it. Set your oven to 400. And you're going to leave it in the oven until all that cheese get nice and melty. So, I'll be back. Okay, CG gang, and there you go. Go. Um, loaded bacon cheeseburger fries. Now, let's plate. Let's plate it. Let's see if we get a nice gooey gooey cheese pour. 
And the fries are still nice and crispy too. Look like if you're gonna make the fries, then we got cheese pour. Loaded bacon cheeseburger fries. That's beautiful. Nice and cheesy. You know, if you want to get fancy with it, you know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Add some posh flakes on top. There you go. That's the video. That's how you make loaded, loaded bacon cheeseburger fries. Sorry for the movie at the camera. <laughs> So if you like my video, don't forget to like it. If you like my channel also, don't forget to um, like and share my channel. If you're new to my channel, hit that sub button. I want everybody to go ahead and hit that notification bell. So y'all be the first to know when the cooking guy has a new video up. So until next time, out of here. That's how you make loaded bacon cheeseburger fries.